here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble your an HP NVX360 laptop and add an extra SSD drive or an NVMe hard drive. So let's get into it quickly. So first thing first, you want to remove the bottom cover. There's a, this plastic thing legs at the back, this one right here. You can just peel it off, just slowly and lift it off. This one has already been taken off a few times, so people actually they put a different type of, I don't know, adhesive tape, something on it. So yours is gonna be really soft as soon as you pull out. It's not gonna have this ugly mark. So once you remove the only the back um, leg, the plastic thing, you wanna see four screws and they're all the same size so you're gonna remove the four screws at the back here which are right over here these are black ones they are the same height and size and next you want to remove the three screws on the front side which are this uh, white ones right there those ones right there they're the same size too once you remove those screws you want to grab a guitar pick and you want to open the laptop in 45 degree angle just like that and then you want to shove the guitar pick or any prying tool right between the bottom and the top cover and you want to hear those click sounds don't worry those are the clips that are getting loose you want to work your way around in front and the side and then you can just put your finger so it doesn't fall down close the laptop and just lift up the bottom cover you're gonna hear additional clicks, which is normal because of the side hinges. Uh, pretty much everything accessible right here. Let me rotate this. Two things you can do here. If the laptop is already powered off, you do not need to remove the battery. But if you wanna be extra cautious, you can actually go ahead and remove the battery. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that are marked with these white arrows. You can remove those screws and then lift up the battery from the contact disconnected. But it's really unnecessary. If your power is off, you can actually work on it just fine to upgrade RAM or hard drive or anything else. So you don't need to. But if you want to be paranoid, just go ahead and remove these seven, eight screws for the battery and remove it. Now, if you have an SSD drive, let me get one over here. I have one lying around over here. All right, if you want to upgrade your mechanical hard drive to SSD drive, it's really simple. All you have to do, grab your SSD drive. This is a 480 gig. For your mechanical drive right here, there's no screws or anything like that. All you have to do is lift up this black hinge right here 90 degree and pull out this ribbon cable and right after that everything is easy just pull up the holder from this side or if you see if it's really hard grab your guitar pick shove it right in between the black cover here and lift up the mechanical drive so this is your mechanical drive first thing first you want to remove the adapter right here so don't pull on the ribbon cable, just pull the adapter right on top. Just right there. You're gonna need this adapter. And next, just rem remember the position of this shock absorbent rubber. You don't need the aluminum foil, but if you want, you can just rip it off here, but it's unnecessary. You can put that to a side and grab your SSD drive and place it right there it's gonna be little, the rubber is gonna be a little big for this one because it's the profile but it doesn't matter for the ssd drive you don't even need the rubber but if you want to have this rubber right there so it doesn't shake around put it right there and grab your adapter Place it in place right there. 
and shove the dry back in place. Actually, I'm not gonna use this dry, I'm gonna put on different hard drives. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys. Once you have it in there, just again slide down the ribbon cable right underneath the jack all the way in and close it. There we have it. Now you have your SSD drive SATA SSD drive right here. Now there's an, another way to add an extra SSD drive. Now there's a, something better than uh, SATA SSD drives which are called NVMe drive. They use a PCI Express slot and they are like a three four times faster than a regular SATA drive. And one of the best brands for the NVMe drives or SSD drives are the Samsung uh, Evo NVMe drive. So you can grab this one, make sure it says NVMe right here. Otherwise, you're gonna have a regular M.2 drive here, which is uh, the same speed as a uh, SATA drive. If your SSD drive it says NVMe, and it goes right on the NVMe port PC Express, then you gonna have the beneficial uh, speed that is offering. So you're gonna grab this NVMe drive right here. This one is a brand new 500 gig. Make sure you ground yourself before you're using this. You wanna grab this one before you grab it, you gotta remove this screw. If yours doesn't come with a screw, you have to get one of these tiny screws. I'll put the link in the description. The really, really tiny screws. Yeah. This screw goes right there. And then you wanna grab your NVMe drive. You're gonna place it in 45 degree, right in the jack, 45 degree or 35. Make sure it goes all the way in so you don't see the pins. And pull it, push it down towards the board and you're gonna screw it back in. I usually use my iFix toolkit. It comes with all the bits that you need. All right. There we go. Now we tied it right in place. Uh, pretty much we are done. Now we have the SSD drive NVMe right there. Now we're gonna stick the Windows ISO USB and we're gonna boot through the USB port and we're gonna format this one and we're gonna install the new operating system on this one. Or you can just reimage this one on this one with uh, different programs. I'll leave the program name in the link in the description. You can get that program to just clone your main drive to the SSD drive. All right, next thing is to grab the bottom cover and place the bottom cover right straight on top. And place the corner, push down the corners, push down the back side. Make sure you hear those clicks. There we go. Now once you have all the sides in, all you need to do is to put the three black screws at the back, three white ones in the front, and place back down your rubber leggings right at the back. And if it doesn't stick in there, just grab some double-sided adhesive tape and put it in. Don't use a super glue or anything like that, otherwise you're gonna end up with something like this. This client, of course, it used a super glue or something like that. That's why it's kind of messed up. Use a double adhesive tape or just if you pull it off nicely, you can just stick it back again with the same uh, stickiness. All right, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, please click that thumbs up button and I'll really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.